Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist one, where we are playing as Dr. Krominov, the ecologist, who is mostly peaceful. Right, so last episode, we finished doing the artifact missions in garbage and in the army warehouses. Our next artifacts will be in Red Forest. We already have the mission for it, or at least I hope we do, yes we do, right here. But I've decided that before doing that, I would like to do the Brain Scorcher. Now, the Brain Scorcher is always a pretty big jump in difficulty from the rest of the game. It's probably the first time you will encounter huge resistance from uh, humanoid enemies. In this case, Monolith, as they have a base up in Radar. And the entrance to the Brain Scorcher, or Lab X... Um, uh, I forgot the name, X-19. <laughs> there we go. The entrance to Lab X-19 is right underneath their base. So, last episode we also finished the encounter at the barrier, which... Uh, in which we helped Gatekeeper deal with a monolith incursion at the barrier in army warehouses. In truth, there were freedom patrols around there, plus Gatekeeper, and the moment we started the mission, an emission started. So we ended up hiding in a little um, in a little container here while the freedom and gatekeeper dealt with all the monolith out there. But this episode, we will actually run into the radar. We will probably encounter some, some big mutants and we'll have to fight our way all the way into the Brain Scorcher. After which, we will have about 10 minutes to get in, turn off the Brain Scorcher, get the documents in there and get out. The documents are not needed right now, but we will need them later to turn into the military. So, to do this, we have our Monolith Cat 9 armored suit, which is not the best, but you know what? As ecologists do not have any heavy armor, we'll have to use this. I also have the XM177E2, which is a NATO rifle using 5.56 ammo with 600 FMJ, 500 AP and 280 HP rounds. Normally, you wouldn't need this much for dealing with the monolith and radar, but I always like to be over-prepared -pre when doing these lab runs. We also have our Carabinier uh, 98K Forester Mark II, which we will use to snipe monolith at range with about 80 rounds. We'll definitely not need that much. We have two anti-personnel mines, which we might use to basically plop down at the broken fence entrance. There is a spot where mutants like to come in and backstab you, so we're gonna have our backs covered with that. And about six grenades. I'd like to have more when going in there, but you know what? This will have to do. I also grabbed an EOTech scope or sight because um, we have the Spectre but when it comes to close quarters, the little sight on top of the actual um, scope, uh, for some reason, I can't aim properly with it. So I'm going to swap over to the EOTech once we step into the Brain Scorcher. We also have a lot of meds. Uh, I usually carry at least one epinephrine shot to have on the way out because usually you will carry a lot of loot and, of course, a lot of morphine. We will need at least a couple, one for taking the base, one for the actual Brain Scorcher. We also have two Phantom Star artifacts, which we found while doing the Ecologist missions, which um, turn you invisible, but you are unable to interact with anything for a minute and a half. I'm hoping we will use these inside the Brain Scorcher and bypass pretty much everything. Other than that, make sure you wear good radiation resistance. 
because radar is pretty radioactive. So let's get a move on and see what we can do. I'll switch to FMJ right here. Oh, to the dogs. And there are bandits around here. You can see them on comms. But it looks like there aren't any right around us. So we should have a nice clear run all the way into radar. Okay, here we are in radar. And right at the start, I'm gonna switch to HP because we will mostly be meet meeting mutants on the way to the monolith base. Well, at least until the road straightens up a bit. And here's our first set of pseudo dogs. Actually, just one, but. Okay, we got them. Around here, we usually end up meeting a lot of high-level mutants. There are some spawns pretty close to the roads, so we need to take a little bit of care. I don't hear anything, which is good. And I'm pretty sure there's a rock we can jump on around here. There we go. Just to get a better overlook at what's expecting us here. Is that a rock? Looks like a rock. Around there, there's usually one big mutant spawn. Could be controllers, pseudo giants, lurkers, chimeras. And did I? Oh, there's the pseudo giant. He's actually trapped on the truck. Oh, he got down. Not sure where he went. I would have liked him to come back closer towards us. I'm trying to listen for any sounds of combat, as that would mean he engaged the monolith at the barrier. I'll take an anti rad because usually this area is pretty radioactive and I don't want to have to take it while fighting a pseudo giant. Would have been good if we had a shotgun right here, but it's um, it's hard to carry all the loot out when you right. Time to run. We'll go back to the rock. <laughs> That's up there, because that actually confuses the, the mutants over here a little bit. Since they can't climb it, they sometimes end up not being able to do anything. Okay, where is the big blob? Oh, he's definitely fighting something over there. This is a little bit of a pickle, to be honest. I would like if the pseudo giant uh, actually killed the monolith over there, but at the same time, I don't like the monolith knowing that we're coming.
Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's definitely combat sounds going on over there. There's also dogs running around. So the giant's going towards the monolith. Okay. Got him. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna switch to AP. Oh, that's a Chimera! You need some open space to fight that. You know how we deal with Chimeras? We pause the video, subscribe, and then jump sideways. <laughs> Okay, I hope that's it for the bigger mutants. And there's our first monolith guy. He's a legend. I'm gonna try and sneak by. Maybe he won't spot us. I wanna get to that rock over there where there's a little bit of cover for us. Oh crap, now nah, he saw us. <laughs> oh boy. That was very risky of me. Okay, he's down. But there's definitely more out there, so... Let's do another quick med. And switch to our rifle. Ah, it was the same guy. Right. Take care of this bleeding right here. And, uh... Ah. Where are they shooting from, though? Oh, there's one right there behind the bush. Okay. There's more there. Okay, we got that one. At this point, I'm gonna take some Fent. <sighs> Just to heal up all our stuff. I think the first checkpoint is cleared, so let's go loot this pseudo giant. Oh! interesting. Let's uh, put the exoskeleton back and this. We don't really need to loot everything. Got him. Ok, 
Okay, so apparently this area is very, very active right now. One's down. Not gonna risk going any further forward unless... I mean, I'm not gonna risk losing until I kill pretty much everyone that can uh, come at us. Oh, there's very high radiation here. No idea where they're shooting from, gonna get behind the truck. Right, so radar is pretty hit or miss sometimes. Sometimes there's no one there. And other times, like this one right here, it's just completely populated. So if this area here it's so um, full of monolith. We'll probably have our work cut out for us in the base. Okay, we have a PDA, that's cool. Put back the stuff that weighs too much. Oh, an AK-12, that's nice. Except we, of course, can't take it. Star, that's nice. Just grab pretty much everything, and uh, IFG AK-5, that would have been nice. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else up there. Really don't need that. And I would like to check this PDA right now. Oh, access denied. I was hoping maybe there will be a um, a stash around. And I'll just munch on some irradiated food right now. We can have one of these. Uh, oh, we actually don't have the bad type of uh, cigarettes. But you know what, that's that's okay. Also, our, our rifle took some damage. So, gonna fix that up real fast. Took a lot of damage, actually. And I'm gonna do another anti-rad right now. Okay. Now, I am using... AP at this point because um, I don't expect to need it inside the brain scorcher. Oh, we got an artifact. Black spray. A lot of psychic resistance. We should remember this one. It might be very, very good later on. And I don't see any more monolith. And you know what? I'm gonna go around here. To the back of the station and hopefully... Oh! There he is. Got him. So yeah, as I said, sometimes uh, mutants come through that hole in the wall. 
And I'm guessing that's where our Chimera friend came through. I hope we don't lure in zombies as well. Okay. There sometimes is a patrol right here by this campfire, but it seems to be clear this time. Oh, we have a little bit of luck at least. A lot of rats, and there is usually another patrol somewhere up by the sandbags over here. Now, we will, we will still have to clear the monolith base, unfortunately. If we had a third phantom star, it would have been much more, much easier. But we don't, so we're gonna have to brute force our way in. And if you are doing a normal run and you don't have phantom stars, and you want to know how I would do um, Brain Scorcher, I actually have a beginner's guide in which I go through all the laboratories in the zone. We're up to the Brain Scorcher right now with X18 coming up soon, which is under Dark Valley. And also, uh, I have a crafting guide. Okay, so... We're gonna go nice and easy. We're gonna try and take out one or two towers, and then we'll run all the way to the other side of the compound. One tower over there. I think we got him. There's another tower here somewhere. Definitely missed. Not that one. And there's another tower to the right. Okay. And now we run. And on the way, I will take a morphine. Yeah, you, you hear them behind the fence, right? Okay. Reload if we can. We don't have to. Yeah, there's two of them there. So that will make it a little bit more difficult to get where we want to. But maybe we can kill them on the way. Another one right here. Okay, so right now, what I'm afraid of most is that, which is grenades. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was another one here. That's right, they will come through that entrance there. Yep. That's one between these trees and hopefully we won't get grenaded <laughs> like that <laughs> that's right we can take one grenade at least Load really fast. Another grenade. It's really annoying how they can throw grenades over the fence like that. It's not dead yet. I'm gonna have to do a big repair after this. Oh! We have a rank increase, which is pretty cool. Maybe we'll be able to recruit someone finally. Okay, <laughs> if they don't start coming out, there's a trick you can use, which is do some meds or have a drink. Because the AI always knows what you're doing.
Okay, before anything else, I would like to fix up my armor, because it's damaged all the way to hell. Same with the helmet. Right, and if they put, didn't push until now, it's probably safe to go closer. Okay, I definitely heard a shot, and it's from that tower over there. Got him. If this tower is populated, then probably the other one is too. Ah, that one appears to be dead. Okay, we're gonna check the other side of the compound, just to make sure everything's alright. Yeah, there's someone in the tower there. Luckily, he had his shoulder exposed. And the rest appears safe. Okay. So we can get to looting. Yeah, always watch out for tower respawns. They can really ruin your day. Come on. Okay, put this back. I only picked it up by mistake. And we can just drop out. And grab a bite to eat as well. I'll just take a monolith food. I would have liked that sniper rifle. really would have. Fortunately, I, I think I was feeling a little uh, masochistic when I made up this, these rules, because they, they do end up taking a little bit of fun out of the game. Ooh, that was uh, close. Just as I was saying to watch out for respawns. <laughs> But now you know what I mean. Monolith, especially the tower guys, do respawn quite often. And uh, they can really ruin your day when, when you don't notice it. Okay, we're gonna go around, do a little bit of looting. Gonna grab everything and then we'll uh, see what we need and what we don't. Oh, wow. Other times I can't get anything to drop in radar and in the brain scorcher. Um, but this time I, I think the game knows I can't pick up anything and uh, it, it's decided to just uh, basically laugh at me with these drops. Okay, I don't need this and this. Also, our multi-tool is damaged and I don't think I can fix it from here. No. Well, that's that. Okay, uh, we did pick up a maintenance kit, so I'll clean the barrel and the... Which one's more damaged? Bolt or gas system? Gas system. As for this one, this one is okay, our armor is pretty okay, we are set to go down into the actual Brain Scorcher. There's also a stash over here, but you know what, just leave it. Just leave it. Oh, we are very overweight. 
might have picked up a few too many things. So, I'm just gonna start dropping random stuff that I don't need. Uh, maybe it would be easier to do this on a corpse. Suffering from su success is what I'd call this. <laughs> um, let's see, we don't need these bullets. And you know what? 120 kilos should be enough. We can, uh, we can definitely work with this. Okay. We have a few more AP rounds, though I don't succeed. That word's hard. I don't suspect we'll need it. <laughs> right. Um, more bite. Okay. And before entering, I will do a Hercules. Just so we don't have to worry about stamina on the way down. And I will take off our pseudodog fur because we definitely won't need it. And I'll put the EOTech scope on just in case. Okay, here we are in the brain scorcher, and we're gonna have to finish this in record time. Now, if you want to know where Monolith has uh, spawn points, and uh, how to fight them in the best way. This is not the run you're looking for because we're gonna put on a Phantom Star right now and we're gonna run like crazy. We are completely invisible here. So that means Monolith doesn't care. They don't even know we're here. They are shooting but they are shooting at the uh, bloodsuckers and hopefully we'll be able to pass. Yes, we can. Now only try to do this if you actually know the route through the brain scorcher because one and a half minutes is barely enough to get there. And also make sure you always have enough stamina to do it. Sorry about that, that was my phone. What the hell? A radar anomaly in the middle of the road? Ah, uh, okay, that way. I'm not sure how much time we still have. We're at 31%, so we're, we're good on time. I ignore those sounds, that's just uh, my sanity going to shit. Okay, I think we should be good. Right. I will definitely take an Eperazine right now. We took the documents. The brain scorcher is off. Sorry about the noise. And we're gonna have to put on the Phantom Star back again. And we're gonna have to make a quick run all the way back up. This time the monolith do know that I'm here, but they still can't see me. I only hope they don't get in the way too much. Okay, we're past the radar anomaly, which is good. We didn't do, take too much side damage. Uh, 
at this point, even if our Phantom Star wears out, we should be able to run out completely. Come on. Just last a little longer, please. Oh, they know I'm here. stretch okay we are out that was a, a bit iffy at the end there but we made it out put back our pseudo dog skin and hopefully no one spawned while we were down in the brain scorcher it was only three minutes so in theory there shouldn't be any new monolith in here Unfortunately, theory and practice don't always, uh... Don't always work. Oh! Gonna stick to AP for now. We still have to go all the way back. I do have a little funny story for you. Um, this is actually the second run I'm doing uh, with the Ecologist on the Brain Scorcher. The first run I didn't think I'd be able to do with uh, the Phantom Stars. So I actually do it, did, did it the normal way, where I, I just uh, pushed through, killed everything, and it was the most frustrating experience I ever had. Simply because the monolith in there had dropped an exosuit, monolith exosuit, which is not the best, it's not an Osorok, but it was still an exosuit. Uh, dropped an Ash-12, or a Shack, I think it's called now. And also an AMB-17, which is a 9x39 weapon. It's probably the best one out there, and I couldn't loot it. And uh, when I saw that, I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm just gonna... I don't even want the loot to drop. I, I just wanna buy the Phantom Stars. And you know what? It worked out. I didn't expect it to, but... Uh, I'd say that was a uh, pretty fun. It was a very ecologist way of doing it. But we're not done. We still have to make our way back to Dead City. Where we're gonna have to drop all the stuff we looted on the way. Which to HP because I'm expecting mutants to be here. Maybe they didn't even have time to respawn, but I'd rather be safe. Usually I end up spending uh, more than half an hour inside the actual Blaine Scorcher. You know, running down is like 10 minutes, then looting is another 20. So the mutants do have time to respawn, but currently, right now, all I'm hearing is dogs in the distance. So we might have gotten away scot-free, which is awesome. We even have a little bit of time on our Her Hercules to make it out. And if not, we still have a morphine in the pocket.
Okay. Whew, we made it home. What's up? Let's see. Uh, we can de decrypt that monolith PDA, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna drop the grenade launchers. I don't think we'll need them. I don't think we'll need the mines anymore. And anything we have a duplicate on, we can just go ahead and sell. Other than that, I'm gonna sell the multi-tool. Bullets we're not using. Yep. Could have went back and looted that one uh, monolith guy where I left all the um, mechanical stuff. But, uh, you know what? It, it would have been hard to get back home like that, so. 9 by 19 we're not using anymore. Okay. And we got the March F scope. Which is pretty cool. March tactical FFP. Oh, uh, I want a multi tool. Yeah, who are you kidding? Only Delta gets that kind of practice. Okay, and do we have anything to sell to him? Hmm. Maybe some of the monolith food we're not using. Okay, it's something. No interesting weapons, unfortunately. Yeah. That's a grenade launcher, but... Yep, nothing that important. Okay. Let's drop stuff, stuff in our stash. As always, gonna start with mutant parts. And any excess food I've got that I don't need anymore. This water can go. Okay. Artifacts. We did pick up that black spray, which is really cool. I would love to upgrade that at some point. And finally, bullets. And... Upgrades and assorted stuff. Right. Back to the stash. I'm gonna drop the cloth mask over there. I'm gonna drop these. Hmm. Okay, I think that's it. What's left to do is read the monolith PDAs. If they have any interesting stashes. Stash in the outskirts. Okay. Oh... <laughs> is this Trelox PDA? Because if it is, I think it's worth a pretty penny. Uh, we can also read these uh, monolith documents, or at least pretend to read them. Now, Strelox PDA, I don't remember. No, you can't sell it, but let's see how much it gives. 13,000 for two PDAs and a stash. Okay. Okay, that's that's actually pretty awesome. A lot of money for basically free. Now, let's check the task board. Let's see if the mercs have any, anything for us to do. Uh, spring cleaning, we'll take it. We'll do it in the next episode. Early or between episodes, we'll see. 
more dangerous mutants, monolith ex expedition, not our thing. Documents in Yantar. I will take that one. And finally, Chimera Horns, two of them. This might pay a good penny for us. Controller hand. And that's about it. Where are these guys, actually? I, I gotta pick them from the stash. Alright, so one controller hand, two chimera horns. Job is done. And we have 7,800. And the other one? 10,000. Okay, we should have some monolith patches and we can play the patch roulette. Aslan will probably give us artifacts with lead containers. And we have a stone blood. Unfortunately, we only have 20 patches because we didn't really kill that many monolith. And you know what? I'll take an MRE and another bottle of water from him. Do we have any more? Yes, we. I think we have enough. Uh, matches, I mean. Alright, I'd say we're doing good. So... I'll, I'll end the episode right here. We... we Made pretty good progress this episode. The Brain Scorcher is a very big deal. So let's do a quick recap. We started out in army warehouses, went to, to Radar, had to fight off a Pseudo Giant and a Chimera plus some Pseudo Dogs, had huge monolith resistance on the way to their base. Their base wasn't too easy either. We almost died to a grenade, but we made it out alive. We had to give up some really great weapons and even an exosuit armor because we're an ecologist, so that's how it goes. And finally, we entered the Brain Scorcher. We used two Phantom Stars to basically stealth through all the Monolith forces, so we didn't have to kill anyone inside the Brain Scorcher. Who knows? Maybe Monolith can be rehabilitated. Maybe leaving them alive won't be a mistake? Ah, <laughs> we'll still kill them on sight if possible, even as an ecologist. And next episode, what we will do, the first thing, is I'm going to go to Cordon and recruit Hip, because we do have enough Snork hands. And she will also have some artifact missions for, for us afterwards, which I would like to do, it's it's right in our lane, hunting for artifacts. And having someone to protect our backs while we do it, well, it's a good thing, especially since no one seems willing to join us. And after that, we will go to the Red Forest and continue with our artifact missions. Finally, I hope by the end of the next episode, we will finish in... Um, Yanov Station, where we will set up our new base. Probably not next episode. Uh, I will probably do a lot of off-screen movement just to set up our base in, um, in Yanov Station, where we have access to both a freedom base there with a lot of loners and the ecologist bunker right here, which give all the, uh, gives all the ecologist missions up north. After that, we'll have to continue the Living Legend quest. But that was it. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all next time.